Have you ever wanted to get into vlogging but just maybe didn't know where to start? Stay tuned and we'll tell you how we got our start and what equipment we use. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Charity and my husband Ben and I are the Grateful Glampers. Two years ago, my husband left his day job and we bought our first RV and set out to travel the country with our family. If you'd like to learn more about our journey, just check our video up above. So in this video, we want to share a little bit with you about the equipment that we use to be able to bring fun videos to you and what we use to film and edit those videos. The whole reason we started this YouTube channel in the first place is we really just wanted to document our journey with our family. When our kids were younger and even before we had children, I did a lot of scrapbooking. And while it was definitely fun, it's not like you can put all of your scrapbooking tools and things like that into your RV and be able to document your journey through scrapbooks. So we chose to do it via video. Another reason that we wanted to do that is because we wanted to inspire other families to get out there and to spend time and make memories with your family while you can and while your kids are either still young or maybe they're a little bit older, but take advantage of the time that you do have with your family and get out there and make memories. The whole purpose for this channel is to be able to document our journey, but in doing so, we hope that we can inspire you to get out there and spend time with with your family. Plus, we've got some pretty cool campground reviews and just some tips and tricks about different places that you can visit when you might find yourself in different areas of the United States. This is all of the equipment that we use today. But when we first started, this is what we had. All we had was this GoPro Hero 7, and it's been great. The audio quality and video quality on these cameras are amazing. Plus, it has the built-in stabilization, and they're waterproof. So really, this camera can almost do anything. So I want to encourage you, really, just to start small. Sometimes you just need to keep it simple. And using a GoPro really does keep it simple, and it's super easy to use. Just get started with what you have, and if you don't have any camera, Start with your phone or go get a GoPro. For editing, I currently use Premiere Pro CC. It's a monthly subscription. But when I started out, I used the iMovie that's built into Mac operating systems and it's free. So then I moved to Final Cut Pro, which is also created by Apple which is a little more advanced software. Then I moved to Premiere Pro CC because I need a little bit more flexibility and more advanced tools. Really, I recommend getting in, starting with iMovie, or if you're on a PC, there is also DaVinci Resolve, which is a free app that works for Mac and PC. For music, we use Epidemic Sound. It is a paid subscription, but we found that the selection on this platform is great. There's also Artlist and the YouTube Music Library. The YouTube Music Library is free. You can find this by searching royalty-free music on YouTube. How we got our start is we took a course called How to Start a YouTube Channel by Mark Leach from Keep Your Daydream. This course was just invaluable to us. It really ran us through beginning to end. Like, they were holding our hands through everything that we needed to get started and really the only necessary equipment that we would need to get us started. This is the Mavic 2 Pro drone. And this is the drone that we use for most of our aerial photography and video scenes within our vlog. We also have the DJI Smart Controller. And the thing I like about this is it's separate from your smartphone. So it has its own battery, its own controls, and you don't need to mess with your smartphone. It's just a complete separate device. So I put this in its own bag with the drone and I can just pop it out and fly the drone and I'm ready to go. So this is the GoPro Hero 7 camera. This was our very first camera and it's been wonderful. We purchased an adapter for the audio as well as a external microphone and a different case to put it in and uh, really the audio and video has been wonderful on this camera we also got a gopro grip so you can clamp this on anywhere so onto the table and uh, adjust it since the gopro 
goes through batteries like crazy. We did get some extra batteries on Amazon. And this is a three pack that you can charge with a USB adapter. Between the three here and the one in the camera, you'll have plenty of battery. We recently updated our camera gear and we just got a Panasonic Lumix GH5. We also purchased this switch pod. So what this does is it allows you to vlog easily with the camera and you can flip it out and use it as a tripod and quickly with one hand retract it and you're vlogging again. I did get this uh, ball head that I put on the camera which uh, allows me to, as you can see here, you can move it around and then lock it in place. So that does come in handy. We also did get a Joby Gorillapod. This is the uh, 5K model, which is a little more robust. We use the Gorillapod to be able to wrap around fence posts or any type of object so you can get that perfect video. For the Panasonic Lumix GH5, I have three different lenses. The lens that's currently on it is a wide angle, eight to 18 lens, great for vlogging. I also have this 25 millimeter lens, which gives you really nice looking bokeh. So where the background's blurry and the foreground is nice and crisp and clear. And then for the B-roll, I have this 35 to 100 Panasonic lens. And the nice thing about this is it's a micro four thirds lens and it does have the built-in power OIS, which is onboard image stabilization. So you can get a nice steady and stable video shot. When editing video, you must have a lot of hard drives. So we keep a couple of these on hand. We do back up to multiple drives. So at, at any given time, we do have our footage on two drives at least. On the camera now, we currently have a Rode VideoMic Pro, which is excellent audio, as you can hear. The audio is primarily good for closer audio. When you're a little bit further away or you're doing some interviews, this Zoom H6 recorder comes in very handy. We attach uh, two lav mics to this and attach them to our shirt and what it does is it allows you to get very good audio. We also have the GoPro suction mount which comes in very handy for when we're trying to get dash cam footage. You can never have too much power. So we purchased this RAV Power battery bank just to give us some extra juice when we're out on the road. So you can plug in multiple devices to the USB and charge them while you're on the go. This Manfrotto tripod which you can use as kind of like a mini tripod to set on a table, or you can close it up and just use it to uh, point the camera at you or vlog with. And this little guy is just amazing. It does have a little ball head that allows you to move it around. Next is this Low Pro Fast Pack 350. I scored this on Facebook Marketplace actually, and it's a $450 bag that I purchased for $40. So take a look at Facebook Marketplace before you purchase new. And this bag really will hold everything, um, including the cameras, the GoPros, even the drone, and uh, as well as used memory cards so you can kind of separate your memory cards. Thank you so much for watching our channel. We really appreciate it. I invite you to like and subscribe, as well as leave a comment below if you have any questions about the equipment that we use.